Prince Harry and pregnant Meghan Markle, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, are currently on their royal tour of Australia. The newlyweds, who are expecting their first child in the spring of 2019, have a jam-packed schedule but the Duchess still had time to make banana bread when they visited a family-run farm. Harry and Meghan visited Mountain View Farm in Dubbo, which is run by the Woodley family. The family invited the Duke and Duchess for tea and Meghan is said to have arrived with her famous homemade banana bread, as well as a tin of Fortnum and Mason Royal Blend tea, as a gift. Top stories Ada Field knew Meghan Markle was pregnant when she attended Princess Eugenie's wedding Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's baby to dramatically change line to the throne Meghan Markle and Prince Harry broke several royal rules during first day of royal tour she apparently baked it herself the night before at Admiralty House in Sydney. Royal correspondent Rebecca English shared a picture of Meghan's creation, revealing exactly what she adds into it. Megan's banana bread went down well. It has chocolate chips in and a bit of ginger, and I can personally attest to the fact that it is rather nice. She tweeted. And there's a reason Megan's banana bread recipe has become so famous. Most popular dancing on Ice 2019 lineup, who are the contestants on the new series? Brian Delcott Baby. Dancing on Ice Star Baby Father and Relationship Details Dancing on Ice. Viewers point out fatal flaw that gives some contestants unfair advantage during the early days of her relationship with Prince Harry. Meghan shared a photo of two spooning bananas and royal watchers were adamant it was a hint at their romance as Prince Harry is said to love anything with bananas. Before Meghan became part of the royal family she ran a popular lifestyle blog called The Tig, and once shared her banana bread recipe on there. Here's how you can make the gluten and grain free loaf. The recipe is made up of sunflower seeds, flax seeds, hazelnuts and almonds, oats, chia seeds, sea salt, psyllium seeds, maple syrup, coconut oil and water. And the method is pretty easy, as all you have to do is combine all the dry ingredients before separately whisking together the wet ingredients and then mixing it all in together. Megan advises pouring it into a flexible, silicon loaf pan and letting it sit for at least two hours before putting it in the oven at 175 C. First of all bake it for 20 minutes, before removing it from the loaf pan, placing it upside down directly on the rack and baking for another 30-40 minutes. The bread is done when it sounds hollow when tapped. 